What about the vlog? Uh, I just have a rant because all morning and all night. There's been comments about tattoos because people don't understand the different world that is a real tattooer versus yeah. like a regular person. Not to say I'm better than anyone, but like I live this life. People are like, oh, that's an L. You got your girl's name tattooed on you. First off, how many human beings' names do I have tattooed on me? Yeah. Does anyone know the answer to that that's not standing in this room? Yeah. Probably not. Hold that L. And then any relationship that's ever ended in my life, whether their name's tattooed on me or not, yeah. is not because I got their fucking name tattooed on me it's because i fucked up they fucked up yeah something happened it's not like innately is, you get a name tattooed on you and all of a sudden everything is never thought it was the biggest deal but anyway. people are just repeating shit they hear here's number one here's the number one l that if you left this comment in the box like seriously stand up for your chair go into the bathroom and slap your fucking self in the face because if you're equating someone getting a name tattooed on them to drake like if that's where your head goes then you're fucking lost in the game already dog. Drake has nothing to do with tattooing. The man has a lyric about him being a pussy saying, please tattoo your name on me, girl, so I know that your love is real. Nothing to do with the fucking culture of tattooing of people who've been getting names tattooed on them since people used to carve people's names into trees. You think, up with that, you think that people don't carve their name into other people's bodies? Like, yeah. I hate tattooing because how information has spread out and now people just repeat shit. Like, as a tattoo artist, you should know. You should never. Fuck you! Yeah. Fuck your tattoo artist! Fuck the tattoos you probably have, because they're probably garbage. Yeah. You probably got tattooed by some dude who traced some shitty song on the fucking internet in the first fucking place. What the it. fuck are you even talking well, about? What tattoos do you have? If you have tattoos on your hands and face and shit, then I might listen to you for like two seconds. If you've been fucking pondering over your first tattoo that's gonna be so meaningful to you, and you've been drawing it out like extra, and it just means the world, and you've got this cool story behind it, go! Fuck your- that's my rant about tattoos, you fuck- The thing about it to me is just that tattoos, it's a mo moment in your life. So even yeah. if you tattoo Alexis My Heart and yeah. you never guys never touch. talk again, you can look at that tattoo and say, this was a girl in my life who meant a lot to me that no longer works. It's yeah. like if you had another name on- I always You said mean this like this one? This one? Uh, yeah. This one here. I got this heart from a girl. I got initials. I mean, bro, I got Biggie Small's name tattooed on me. I got, got Kanye, Kanye, can I got Kanye West's name tattooed on me. I got a fuck Rose, this is blinging on it. Like, fuck. Well, dude, I think part of what you're saying is the kids that don't know, like, if you haven't been in the culture, it's if you're like, not in the game, sit on the fucking bench. That's what I'm saying. Oh, shit. Sit your ass on the fucking bench and watch the game and watch the MVP fucking ball out. That's what I'm saying. You don't know shit about tattooing. Nice. And repeating shit from Ink Master and a fucking some chip chop fucking full of himself fucking tattooer when you walked into a shop was like, I want to get someone's name. You're like, I'm a fucking tat, bro. I don't do shit like that. We have a moral code. Fuck you. You don't have a moral code. You'll fucking tattoo an infinity sign on some 18 year old bitch's hip that you know Goodwill's gonna pop out as soon as she fucking biscuits up so shut the fuck up like I'm so sick of this fucking fake moral code of tattooing I love it. so ridiculous I love it yeah I'm on it today yeah done let's go tattoos it's a personal thing don't let other people tell you what to get tattooed on you listen to people that are smarter than you about tattooing maybe what you think you know about shit is not what you know about shit. Like just because you think you know something doesn't mean that you know. There's a whole culture to tattooing that people don't get. You taught me it, but if I wasn't taught it. But that's it. why I don't tattoo that much anymore is because yeah. the culture around it is so fucking stupid. Not only are they repeating stupid shit they hear, they're getting the same exact tattoos as the people they see. The imagery comes up like snakes and dragons and skulls and all that shit that I love. But you don't have to do the same fucking thing yeah. over and over. And then just that whole idea that there's rules in tattooing tattooing as if all these outlaws band together and made a bunch of rules for the fucking public is stupid. I won't tattoo your face and I won't do this for you and I won't do that. That's your like personal choice as a tattooer. But to act like we have some sort of fucking like business coalition where we're all, you know, morally, you know, you shouldn't get another person's name tattooed on you because it's a curse. Fuck, it's not a curse. You're a curse. You know what I'm saying? You're a fucked up human being who doesn't know how to fucking deal with your relationship. You're loving this. You should have a camera on your face and how much you're smiling. You love getting me go off. The camera's not even on when you ask the question. I know. Tattooing is just turning into some fucking middle of the mall fucking. Hey, mom. Let's take all the daughters. Let's all go get the same yoga Little symbol. matching tattoo, a little infinity symbol. Let's all on the get wrist. the same one. Me and my eight daughters, we all got this yoga thing. My little sister wondered why, when she and her friend got matching little blackbirds on their back of their neck, why the guy seemed so pissed off the whole time. Got any other fucking controversial topics you want me to go in right now for us with this joint? No, I just forgot a t-shirt, so I got the whole like, hey, fucking chest hair and the hoodie thingy. No, I think we're good. We'll, we'll see what comes up next. You're saying it's also weird that people want to see 
Fake content in what sense? Do you mean fake content? All right, man, like the first time I ever watched a skate video, I was like, wow, but that trick looks amazing. And then I went outside and I did the trick. A friend, friend filmed it with his shitty camera, right? Yeah. It didn't look as cool. It doesn't look as cool. Why isn't my reality as cool as this video? And that's where I think it comes in with YouTube and shit like that. Internet is people want fake content. If you showed them what your life is really like. Well, dude. I gotta tell you, that's the weirdest thing for me, like getting into this and the more that I do these live streams and it becomes like a thing that people are in there with me. Sometimes I literally, I wake up and I sit there and I almost feel like I'm forced to deliver some, let's be on point. And I'm like, be on point. I have nothing to fucking talk about. I'm lighting up a blunt. Yeah, I've been awake for 20 minutes. To, right? Well, that's my point. But people are contriving their content. That's why when you meet me in real life, I'm the same person. When I turn on the camera, I don't go, okay, hold on. Let's turn the camera on, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, it, is there, or anything like that. Like vlogging, and all this shit is documentation. Where the line got blurred in YouTube that it needs to be like this large, like they expect people to do larger than life shit, which I feel like my life is pretty like unique, you know? It's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, compared I to a lot of cool shit. Yeah, yeah. This shit's not directed by James Cameron. Like, I guarantee you, if I made fake content that didn't have anything to do with like my soul or who I was as a human being, then it's whatever. I can make yeah. whatever. It just interests me how people beg to be tricked and lied to, almost like they want you to be, I don't know. Like, it's just like, tell me a fucking story. Bro, <laughs> yeah, I just want to be so loud. Well, it's like gangster rap, like a lot of gangster rap music. It's like, just tell me a story. Tell me, I want to hear about the shooting and the yeah. I'll clap this and I'll clap that. I know you're not really doing yeah. it. I'm just out here rapping, but man, I put it on <laughs> my car. For me, like living a life of being able to just hang out with my dog, draw, and fucking smoke weed and just kind of like go at my own pace is a dream life to me. You know, a dream life to me is not going from coastal location to coastal location and acting as if life is a yeah. constant journey of, oh, I need to be at a new resort every week. These travel vlogs and shit, they're like, today we're in the Kokomos, and I don't know, it's just weird to me. The more I look at shit, and people making content and people who make fake fucking content. Yeah. People who try to fit into like new vibes. Like I've noticed a lot of vloggers lately in the shoe world yeah. trying to be funny and not funny. So they Wonder where y'all got that from, you yeah. motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. We aren't trying to be funny. I'm mm -hmm. never trying to be funny. No, this is just our I life. mean, I'm only trying to be as funny as I would be to make you laugh normally yeah. with or without the camera. Yeah, normal, you know what shit, I mean? Normal, normal shit. But I wonder where the mentality comes from in the vloggers. Because they don't want, oh, because they want to fuck, because they want to seem larger to, than life. Because it's that fucking weird head separation with like fake it till you make it I was type just shit. Gonna say yeah, that. it's like I was oh, just I need say. to put myself on a higher level. It's like, bro, no, you don't. You don't need to act like this. And that's why people get all fucked up over their views and their subscriber. I can't tell you the last time I checked a view count or a subscriber count. Yeah, but I can tell you that every day someone tells me that I've lost subscribers. Yeah. Like, why do you care more than me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I didn't lose anything. I yeah. didn't lose shit. Somebody lost interest in something that's fucking funny and cool. That's got nothing to do with me. Yeah, bro. you know. How many unsuccessful people are walking around this yeah. earth? I don't give a fuck. And it's I'm just documenting my life. Like, why would I give a fuck? Like, people who watch this, yeah. just a, that's just a blessing. That's awesome. You know, people who buy clothing is awesome, but it's got nothing to do with, like, my self-worth. Oh, God, if I don't gain a thousand subs today, like, I must not be doing, I must be doing something wrong. Like, what are you talking about? What's the most viewed video on YouTube? It's not educational. I listened to somebody say something about this the other day, that, like, you can look at the most... It's not the best thing. It's not the best yeah. content. It's not the like, interesting thing. It's not, and I said it yesterday, it's not what people want. It's not what people need. I look at it, like I find myself looking at shit and I'm like, why am I even watching this? Yeah. This is ridiculous. It's the like same people who comment on Trump every day, bro. We get it. You know what I'm saying? But like you fucking making your point every single goddamn day on the internet isn't helping right. anybody either. So yeah. shut the fuck up. He's president. Yeah. You sit here and cry or spill milk for four years. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, that's how I feel too. And I think a lot of it too, when people watch a vlog and it's like they see that life is regular when they see one of those vlogs. All right, so what's not regular life is getting a, like, what, $3,000 package from a company of shoes that are hard to get. That's not regular life, that's yeah. crazy. I'm like, holy shit. When people see a regular life vlog where you're like, hey, today I just went to dinner with my friends, I did this, and I did that, and I hung out, and I walked my dog. Then somebody will comment like, this shit's boring. Yeah, this shit's boring. They see that like right there where it's like a regular life thing for a second, and they realize that, wait, this dude doesn't have this dude's not doing anything that's so spectacular that I can't do this. And yeah. so inside of them, they're like, 
I'm not doing this or whatever it is I want to be doing. So now I'm mad. Like now, now I'm mad. mad that and you... Now I'm going to project it onto exactly. you. That's all it is. Now you're just like me. You, you're vulnerable like me. You're yeah. not this super on a pedestal. Yeah, there's not 200,000 like, people that watch this. And yeah. look, there's other people in the comments that think you made a mistake too. Like, oh, okay, yeah, cool. It's just a weird place. Like, I don't care because you know my other people's opinions of me are no. very low volume on the meter. People are just wild, dog. That's all there is to it. It's wild. It's a wild, it's a wild thing just to look at and think about. It doesn't yeah. bother me. Like no, me it. neither. I'm not bothered. I don't think it's coming off like Teddy, that. I think Teddy, you're tri dude. I literally post a comma on Twitter right now and someone will say I'm triggered. Because that's the yeah. new thing too. If you get a response from someone that it's such a trick. If you get a response from someone that you deem known famous, whatever the fuck yeah. you want to call it. Clearly you're triggered because yeah. you answered little old me. Motherfucker, I'm answering you because I'm a person. I can't win this match. No, like, you should be bigger. Like, you shouldn't even comment on this. This should roll off your back. It's like, well, that's fake too. You yeah. know what I mean? Me fucking acting like something doesn't make me want to be like, yo, you're wrong as fuck, stupid. If we're in a grocery store and someone's standing in line and they're like, John Travolta just became president. I'd be like, that's not the truth. I, if someone said the same thing, they're like, Teddy fucking this, that. Teddy's only known his girl for two weeks and got her name tattooed on him. I'd be like, no, that's not the truth. It's not me being triggered, that's me correcting your dumb fucking yeah, ass. You know yeah. what I mean? And especially on the internet where you have to, because if you yeah. don't, What's my Wikipedia things? gonna look like? Exactly. Get it right, dog. Yeah, dog. Fucking don't make me fucking release a goddamn autobiography. That's what this is, it's a really long autobiography. But it is, I think of it every day, I'm like, you can go back and watch. Speaking of, do you know that your Instagram story, there's a little wheel on the top of Instagram called Archives, and your entire story from day one is archived. Really? You, dude, it's... Yeah. Every story you've Wait. ever posted from the beginning of time? Let me go find my wallet. We're gonna get out of here. Get some working weed. Yeah. Roll that weed up. Roll that weed up. That coffee. Nope. You're on rest. Omar's on rest because we think he's got a sprained ankle. Sorry, dude. Like a sprained ankle, boy. It's nothing to play with. You know what I'm saying? You got it? Yeah, you have to like go under now. There's, you gotta go to patience, log in. There's a like pending renewal. Oh, tight. Hold on. That's not what who said. The doctors, they said it was gonna update in the thing when we, I was there with you. That's not at all what happened, but. Well, what happened then? She said, do you know how to do it? And I said, yeah. And then she said, all right, don't call here when we, when you don't know. Oh, and that's even that's more just, hilarious. Yeah. You said that it was gonna just auto renew when we checked this the last time. You were like, oh no, it just says pending. Uh, yeah, that is what it said. Bro. Yeah, but you didn't look any further. I'm not blaming you, but I'm also not not blaming you either. <laughs> uh, great, I made fun of you for not being able to get your weed card, and now mine's in fucking purgatory. I'm in fucking weed purgatory now. The day just keeps getting better and better. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just tell you. Don't, there's nothing for you to say. I sent you that fucking email. I can't even really tell the full details. I sent you the email at least five times. Like yes. every time it came in, it was like urgent. You need to take care of this. I sent it to you. You'd send it to Sager. And all I'd hear back is it's taken care of, bro. Don't worry about it. You're ta it's taken care of. That's Don't what worry I was about told. it. Then I get a phone call from my fucking goddamn accountant who's like, you're delinquent on this. This is gonna cost you an extra fucking ba 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 penalty fee. Penalty fee for this. And you have to have it reinstated for your state tax. I'm done asking questions. Done taking advice from people less successful than me. I also need your credit card. <laughs> Wow, what am I paying for now that I probably Your weed card is $26. Why? Because it's fucking expired? No, it's not expired. I was supposed to fill this out your... weeks ago, but well, we don't have to worry about it. I, you know, it's partially the doctors told us I feel like DMX right now. DMX is in jail. Everybody telling me not to worry about it. Now I'm in jail. Oh, uh, shit. Looks like I'll be going in to get you some wax. Good thing I brought my medical card. Like, I'm not in the business of manufacturing, so the problems that they have, I really don't give a fuck. That's why I don't have Sager, so it's someone I don't know that I can fucking yell at and be like, do your fucking job. Don't care what other people do, say, and want. I want the shit I want done. Yeah. If you can't fucking offer me a fucking different colored shirt, then don't tell me it's in fucking stock, and don't tell me that it's gonna be a week. Tell me that you have to order it from three fucking places up front, and don't tell me it's only gonna take a week to get done. That's how you do business. I have to be fucking upfront and transparent with everybody. Why the fuck don't they? All right then. Oh, can you change your business model to fucking cater to our fucking fuck ups and the fact that this other company doesn't have a good relate? Like, no, I can't. Because I'll end up in fucking Paris fucking making my own goddamn shirts before I let someone tell me that I need to just print on black and white. I gave them a check for $14,000. I don't want to hear excuses. 
Uh, I want okay. my shit yesterday. I'm sorry I gotta be Dame Dash about the shit, but like, motherfuckers just wanna make excuses so their life is easy. These motherfuckers check out of their job at five o'clock. These motherfuckers go home on the weekends and do the shit. I don't do that. Get it. This is my whole fucking life. You get it. I'm just trying to find the best way. I man, get it, but I... I'm not taking the excuses that they're giving you, is what I'm saying. I like, get none it. None of this is directed towards but you. But I also it's think it's not taken. Slow... Oh, I know it's not directed towards me. It's not taken that way. I'm... And a lot of people in business apologize instead of being upfront about what's going on. Why I'm not working with my friends anymore. Yes. Because when I hear excuses, I get mad and I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? Like, it can't be this difficult. Because yeah. no one's offering me any solutions. And that's not how, I think that's not good for me. It's not good stress. It's not the way this shit is gonna fucking work. Like I said, I'll fly to fucking Paris and I'll make my own goddamn shirts. I'll take out 150 fucking loans and I'll fucking have my own garments if that's what it fucking takes. And then I'll own a garment company and everybody be printing on my shit and I have six private jets. Fuck playing this game with well, these people. It. Well, it I mean. It makes me think about doing garments because it what makes I'm saying. me think how shit. That's what I'm saying. Hello? It's been an intense morning. One one. Uh, the girl working there is shady as fuck. They got a new girl. Uh huh. So I'll send you some money. Yeah. It's just, it'll be a hundred with that fee. Yeah, send you 40. No, and then. Make uh, it work. Well, yeah, hundred will be good. Cause 40 yeah. sounds better. Look at these fucking yeah. chode sickles. This is what you want to do. Look at that, look at that dude. Look at, guys. look at these motherfuckers out here. Where are we? Today's rants. Crazy. You do this to me on purpose. You love to see me rant. People love seeing me rant. That's just like what they like. People like it when I go off. It's always been the case, like my whole life. You know, Facebook people are like, God, Daddy, I love it when you go on these rants. I'm like, I know, I know. People just love watching someone. Like, who doesn't like watching somebody kick a tree? There was a guy over there right now just fucking kicking a tree. We both, we were like, what the yeah. fuck is that dude doing? It's the same thing, just verbally kicking trees left, fucking left and right. Kung Fu Panda, this motherfucker. That's great. Yeah. But once I get it out, I don't care anymore. So I just gotta yeah. make my fucking funny to me rant and move on with life. We're just sitting there hanging out and this dude stands up and like starts to walk away. I look to my left and his wallet is just sitting on the fucking thing with money like hanging out of people everywhere. So I run over and grab it. Dude, your wallet. And I'm like, your wallet, your wallet. And he doesn't say anything. And I'm like, yo, black shirt. Cause he's wearing a black shirt. He like turns around like, is this your fucking wallet? And he goes, oh my God. Oh my God, thank you so much. That'd have been terrible, obviously. Like, yeah. And I turn around, there's like a homeless guy. Starting to, yeah. start, starting to go down. So he's got like a little like sleeping bag and he's just chilling and he goes, damn. Yeah, man, I think that was gonna be my fucking dinner. Ah, oh, man, I was like, the karma from that. You'd have gotten food poisoned, dog. Like, here you go, and I just gave him 20 bucks. Oh, God shit. damn, he's like, you're out here blessing everybody. I'm like, well, I mean, fuck. I, yeah. you, you didn't steal his wallet, so yeah. I feel as if it's deserved. Funny that he said it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, that's my fucking dinner. It's late. Yeah, it's already noon. It's one. God, it's fix your clocks. Like to keep this is a fucking early. testament to your life. You know, why fix it? Time change is going to come around again. <laughs> and then I'll be right on time. I mean, I know what's wrong, it's but anyone really else funny that gets when in my I do guy. wait that long and it actually catches up and I go, oh shit, we're back. I mean, it always is funny. I bet you've never changed your clocks ever. If your phone didn't change by itself, that shit would still be in 2004. <laughs> uh, Day in the life. Whoa. Face. Chirping Brody's out here, dog. What y'all want to do with me? Oh, oh, shit. Guess I'm just dropping you off. There you go. Okay. Howdy, Fun Fousey. Yeah, take this too. I'll hit you later tonight. All right. Hopefully, we get a shipping confirmation. Oh, uh, we are. He said at 4 o'clock today. Wah wah. For the record, I paid the neighbor to cut my grass and he just hasn't done it yet. That's why it looks crazy like that. Hey, Omi. How's your little week? That was your little sprained ankle. Yeah, Omar is basically just on activity rest so that he does not hurt himself further. I called the vet this morning and they said it's most likely just a sprain. We're gonna keep an eye on it, make sure everything's cool. UK cheese, wavy gravy, grape stomper. Mm, this one's in a special box. Lemon G. What a square container. Nice. Look at this whole little. Oh, this is a crazy container. It's got a circle in. It looks really nice though, for sure. I can now finally 
start drawing. I gotta do like color versions so I can get color versions over today for some stuff. It looks like this next drop is probably gonna be mostly rumors and rules. I think we're gonna go rumors and rules this time, AI the next time, and then happy cry. That's like the next few things up, I think. That's right now. But there's also like a Ted design dropping. We got stuff coming, but I gotta color some shit up. I redrew it. I don't know what to do with it. So I redrew this and I need to fix it up and then design the front. New uh, double R logo, thing. Working on this sort of anti-varsity future thing. I got a lot of stuff. I made an R out of chains. I'm out here, I'm out here doing things. starts moving that's it like once kids get the first ones it's i like, get it i just don't want to spend i don't want to have to spend my fucking rent on goddamn fucking shipping me neither dude <laughs> me neither I'm redrawing yeah, yeah. I'm doing the same shit are you already done yeah. what day does it come wait today friday oh okay you got me scared like i said something i thought you wasn't. said monday first no, no, thing no, no, no. i was like what the no fuck? that money should be out now mm, great or any minute i'll make sure not to check my bank account <laughs> it's not gonna make me feel good when i had to spend that much money to make it happen when it should have already been sent dude no problem i really don't like being an asshole i get it i don't think these dudes were intending to I don't give a fuck with people intent. The fucking road to hell is paid with good intentions, dog. Stop making me sound like my mom. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I get that most humans wake up every day with good intentions. The problem is, is that most humans fuck something up. And then when you fuck something up, it's like, just fix it. Take the fucking initiative, fix it. Don't make me get upset. Like, I don't want to be upset. I feel like the fucking Beauty and the Beast over here struggling with my own goddamn moods. No. I'm trying not to get upset about shit, but at the same time, like, a lot of times I'm getting fucked. So it's like, bro, like, what? Like, just communicate with me beforehand so I can communicate with people so they're not upset because this shit just trickles downhill. When someone hits me, I'm like, where's my shit? And I'm like, dude, it's coming. Like, I'm all short because yeah. I'm pissed off now because no one sees behind the scenes what I have to deal with. It's just like, dude, it drives me fucking crazy. And the kicker is, is if I wanted the shit printed on straight bullshit, it would be no problem. Yeah, of course. It'd be done in 10 seconds. It'd be of here. Of course, dude. Fine. That's part of the issue. That's why I don't think it's like fully like these guys are doing a shitty job. Like I said. No, but they're definitely not doing a great job of they're communicating. Not they're not. And that's the real fuck. That's where I got. Because well, if someone had told me last week that toll was going to be here on Wednesday, then I'm told, all right, well, we can't do that, but we'll, you know, we'll try to work something out because of this, that, and third. Then I'm told, you know, with just a few minutes to decide, like, hey, you need to spend 2000 extra dollars to get this on the day we promised you in the first place. There's a part of me that's always going to feel like yo you're trying to take advantage of me and there's a part of me that knows how much money i have to invest in the future that shit's not cool cutting into the livelihood of the business at that point it's not just some fucking like oh it's just a little extra shipping it's, it's fun for me like i like designing and i like doing all this other stuff my art so it's not like i'm just like casual about it we're not just ordering mugs with some fucking stupid like supreme rip off that we're like just trying to flip i know so that shit pisses me the fuck off too when people don't take it seriously should do a whole alphabet of these chains. That'd be a cool shirt if it just said rumors and rules and chains. He said some of those screens are eight, nine fucking screens. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm saying, that's what it takes we, to make good art. That's man. fine. That's fine. Nobody's, yeah, nobody's yeah. saying that. Yeah. yeah. Done, no. done dealing with me. Oh, well, I only came here for because I needed to know. But yeah, they're on the way. They're on the way. And like I said, when the camera died, I'm three steps away from fucking buying a tiny house in the middle of the desert with no fucking electricity to find a simple life. <laughs> this shit doesn't fucking stop. Because it's ridiculous. I'm getting text message updates as this thing moves. Well, I bet they're getting mess I'm getting, I guess you're getting updates now. Now we're getting updates. Spin two racks, get to updates real quick. For that, no updates. Silence of the motherfucking lambs. It wasn't always silent. It's not as bad as you're making it. It's just not, you know, I get it. It could have gone better. And I'm not fucking Dame Dash as I'm making it, but it's just like fucking shit drives me crazy. I just want things to be good. Like I just want I just want things to be good. I want things to work. That's it. Constantly feeling like a kid on fucking Christmas who got a PlayStation that didn't work. Yeah. True story. I don't know. I get it. I do this to myself when I don't fucking produce the way I want to. I get mad at myself too. So maybe this is my fucking problem. All right. 
them out. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. I love you. Sorry that I yelled. You're not yelling at me. I know I'm not. Page, I'm just saying. Doesn't feel good to yell. All right. All right.